Wide swings. Wide swings. This is looking fine and cool and fun. Whoa. You just turned on a valve, buddy? Jesus. Oh no. What is that? That's a hand. I don't want to go back out there. It's awful out there. One of my goals today uh, is I'm going to try to finish more sentences. I do this thing where I just sort of trail off in the middle of a sentence and I don't finish the thought. And man, there's nothing more humbling than trying to edit yourself for the first time and caption yourself. Disgusting. I won't touch that with a 10 foot pole. This is new. I also like the rooftop. It makes me want to fly. You too? Stanley Coleman. I don't like that. I don't like that at all. Shit. Uh, okay. Okay, this is fine. Ooh. Okay, there's these guys. What if I put these guys down? Have I tried that yet? Lock is broken. All right, we're gonna do that. We're gonna we're gonna put these guys down, and we're gonna see if anything else comes out of being up here. Uh, best thing for them is gonna be the shotgun if I've got bullets. Lay back down, please. You also. I think I got... Oh, no, 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 no. I thought you went down. Oh, no. Too close. Is that both of them? Oh, that was a lot of bullets. Okay. So we've got a little bit of free reign in here now. We can see if there's anything else for us progress-wise. I don't think there is. We've been up here before. We just never really took the time to look around. Uh, I have no idea what I'm doing, but I'm guessing there's nothing up here for me still. So let's go back down. I don't know. Well, that's not too bad. I'd still call that afternoon, but I'm kind of a night owl. I guess I'm just going to work my way down. So we've checked the special treatment room. But honestly, with the way that these uh, dolls keep popping up, I feel like you kind of got to go through every room that you've already been through again. Lock is broken. And I've got no new doll in here. I think this must be it. That's the only kind of progress that we're making. So Forsaken, what I'm working on right now is there is this keypad at the end of this hallway that I've gotten like zero clues from so far. And I've kind of dried up all of the stuff that I can explore here. Um, the only thing that's changing and the only thing that I've got to go on is I keep getting these little doll notes from this creepy guy. So I think I'm gonna go through and just kind of keep exploring and trying to find more of those dolls. And maybe those will point me in the right direction as far as like combination for the door. And maybe there's something that I've missed, but regardless, I think the answer is go back through floor by floor, try every door, and uh, see if we can either find a clue or find uh, another doll. Have I used the camera? Have I used the camera? You know, I don't know if, if I have... Uh, that supplies camera. Unlike a normal camera, you can see the developed photos right away. Uh, let's see. Where would I? Where might I try those out? Uh, that's a great. That's a great thought. The only places I can think of to try it is the keypad itself, and maybe somewhere in the special, maybe in the special treatment room. So I'm gonna come over here first. I can't use that here. Great. But that's all right. Let's see. Can't use that here. So I'm wondering if maybe there's something that like... 
I uh, can't use that here either. Hmm. Oh, thanks, buddy. I made the mistake of putting this on hard puzzles. <laughs> I was feeling very confident, but I've gotten destroyed by two puzzles so far. Yeah. <laughs> it's been it's been a rough one. I'm still having fun with it, but Yeah. All right, well, let's keep working our way down, way down. Does she have a gun? Oh, this is really working out for me. Oh, that's really working out for me. Um, I have not used the katana before uh, because I didn't think it was very good, but somebody recommended I give it a try and I'm really pumped about it because that was great. I think I got a little bit lucky because one of those nurses, for some reason, packed a gun, but there's nothing else interesting in the locker. The locker is closed tightly. I can't seem to get it open. Okay. I'm just going to keep trying the camera in places. I think it must be probably be like a whiteboard or something that I'm looking for. The katana is pretty powerful. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm a lead pipe boy. Usually, like I'm a huge fan of the lead pipe. I just like the length on it. It makes me feel very safe. But that katana kind of made short work of those nurses right there. Pipe is good as well, but the katana seems more powerful. Have I explored the basement? Uh, I think so. Basement. Yes, I have been in the basement. I do have a circle on the wall. Here's another spot where there was a circle, but this one's marked off. So I must not have solved this yet. That's great. It's hard because it's it's been a couple of days or maybe a week or two since I since I booted this up. So you guys have caught me in kind of the reacclimatizing myself stage. Let's go down to the basement. I guess it's the stairs then. <laughs> it's all right, buddy. I do actually appreciate the help, at least like right now. And the only reason, the only reason I say that is again, cause I kind of don't remember what I've done and haven't done in the hospital a little bit. I know that I sound confident, but I don't remember. I don't remember anything. <laughs> Lock is broken. So I remember coming down here. This is where I got the submachine gun. Yeah. Uh, blood trail continues. Oh, I didn't like that. Continues into the elevator. Part of me wants to peek in, but that's a little creepy too. Uh, okay. Okay, thank God. Oh, I thought that was it for a second. I was like, I don't want to see. Oh. Yeah, see, I've been back here, but I can't squeeze in there and there's no way I can move the shelf either. Oh. Really? Oh, okay. Four, six, seven, three. Four, six, seven. Oh, thank you. Huge, 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 huge. And that's up on the fourth floor. So 
So four two. Get fucked. Okay, this is fine. We're okay. It's fine. It's an old building. It's just settling. God. Oh, too far. Too far. My uh, my reflexes kicked in, <laughs> and we're just like leave. <laughs> All right, third floor. Four, six, seven, three. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's quiet. Uh, let's see, we got the day room, restroom. Let's just start working our way around. Left first. Good. Love that. Love that. Um, okay. Uh, what's this? Looks like a gossip magazine. Oh, <laughs> it's a magazine. Just some kind of gossip magazine. Sick. Teaching Despair. Hope House. Hope House is an orphanage uh, built on the outskirts of Silent Hill. But behind its false image is a place where children are kidnapped and brainwashed. Hope House is managed by the Silent Hill Smile Support Society, a charity organization sometimes called 4S. It's true that 4S is a well-respected charity that takes in poor children without homes and raises them with hope. But at its heart, it is a heathen organization that teaches its own warped dogma in lieu of good religious values. Mr. Smith, Temp, I don't know what that means, who lives in your Hope House, uh, had this to say. Sometimes at night I can hear their weird prayers and the sounds of children crying. I went there to complain one time, but they ran me right out. Since then, it hasn't changed a bit. In fact, this reporter was refused admission when he attempted to take photographs of the facility. What exactly do the folks at Hope House have to hide? During my investigations, I was able to discover, however, a suspicious looking round concrete tower, which appears to be part of their facilities. Unfortunately, no one was willing to tell us what the tower was used for, but it seemed unlikely that it has anything to do with the business of raising orphans. It may in fact be a prison or a secret place of worship. The cult religion that operates Hope House is known by the locals simply as the Order. It is a religion that is deeply interwoven with Silent Hill's history, but its worshippers' fervent belief that they are among the elite chosen people has a dark and dangerous side. I intend to continue my investigation of Hope House and the cult behind it. I've always believed that telling the whole truth and showing the children the true path is our most important duty. Joseph Schreiber. Hope House. I feel like I've heard that name before. Interesting. I got a health drink. Uh, anything else for me in here? So that is interesting. Um, I think the order is so full disclosure. I, I've, I've, this is my first time playing through Silent Hill three. I just played Silent Hill one and two for the first time. Um, what I've gathered though is the order is the organization that Dahlia Gillespie and I'm guessing Claudia belong to. Um, yep. Yep. Okay, cool. Confirmed. Oh, man. Oh, I got beef jerky. I have yet to use a single scrap of beef jerky. I think I'm just saving them. I wish I knew what flavor they were. Okay. Oh, fuck. Oh, no. The doll's all torn apart. It's really pretty sad to look at. I wonder who did it anyway. Are you kidding me, Heather? Who did it? <laughs> he signs all of his letters. <laughs> Goodbye, Heather. I'm sorry I wasn't able to respond to your love. What? It's all over. Leonard despises me because I made fun of it saying it would come to this. If it weren't for his meddling, I would have been able to meet you in just a little while. Then I could have taken you to my world. A world for us alone, more beautiful than this one. And I had been waiting for this day, for today. The day I'd see you, the day you'd save me. Today. Heather, watch out for him. Leonard is no ordinary guy. Farewell. I loved you. Heather, my goddess. Heather, my lover. Heather, my... I feel a little bit uncomfortable, too, just because I named my lead pipe Leonard. Not knowing... Not knowing that I would be tying it to somebody actually in the game. Uh, I sell doors. Would you like to buy one? <laughs> oh, you sell doors. I do find myself in need of doors. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Whoa. I hear another one, and I don't like that I hear another one. Uh oh. Oh shit. Are you behind me? Oh, yes, you are. Oh no. Oh no, there's so many. Oh no, there's so many. Uh, uh, uh. Wide swings. Wide swings. Oh my god, that's actually working. Okay. Okay. We're good. It's fine. It's fine. Um, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> so, uh, when Heather is swinging around, you can actually rotate her character in space yet. Uh, and by doing so, you'll increase the arc, because I was hitting this nurse over here on my left and the one right in front of me. Ooh, I, 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 I am okay. It's okay. We're good. Uh, let's go ahead and use a couple of these. All right. Um, yeah, they just sort of ambushed me there. And I did not like it. Uh, let's keep working our way down to the end of this hall before dealing with the, uh, elevator or anything. Lock is broken. Oh, this one's, this one's open. Okay. Oh. Okay. Hello? Claudia. No, I'm not- Don't lie to me, Claudia. You're always trying to run from your responsibilities. Have you come to apologize? Or maybe you still don't realize how foolish you've been. The salvation of all mankind. Ah, what a ridiculous dream. Wait, just listen to me for a second. I've heard enough from you already. How did you turn out this way? Where did I go wrong? Listen to me already. I'm not Claudia. You're not Claudia. My name is Heather. Heather. Who are you? Leonard Wolf. I'm sorry. I thought you were my daughter. Claudia is your daughter? Oh, so you know her, do you? Are you one of her followers? No, never. When I find her, I I'm... I can feel the hatred. What? Behind your words, the anger. You plan to kill her, don't you? I'm sorry. She... She killed my father. She's a fool. But she's still my daughter. I was going to forgive her if she changed her ways. But I see it's too late. Heather, will you help me? Help you? I'm locked up in here. And I must stop Claudia. Where are you now? I'm not sure myself, but the door is at the end of the hall on the second floor. You seem pretty sure. I, think I can be of help to you. I have a seal. Please. A seal? I don't know about that. I don't know about that. W don't trust people here. Like, right? Yep. 
into the hall on the second floor. Lock is broken. So this is so funny. They're like, the lock is broken, but you can clearly see it's just padlocked shut. So the lock is definitely not broken. If anything, it's just way too effective. Uh, okay, 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 okay. Great. That's everything on this floor, for sure. I feel like I want to do a quick save before we go back down to floor two. And I think the save is on this floor. Maybe in here? Hey. Hospital storage. So what I find interesting from that cutscene was that Leonard, who claims to be um, Claudia's father, mistakes Heather for Claudia. But also, Claudia earlier on is just like, remember me and remember your former self. What if... Okay, it's fine. So what if Heather and Claudia are one and the same? We haven't seen Claudia interact with anybody else. Uh, I'm guessing it's going to be the end of this hole. All the way down at the end. That... Was that there before? No, there's no way that was there before. Uh, it does look like it's locked, but it's not. Interesting. Oh no. This is looking fine and cool and fun. Whoa. Okay, I'm fine. It's, it's okay, it's just a door. <laughs> Uh, you gonna open up here? No? Okay, so I've definitely don't got a map of this place. Oh, man. This is fine and cool and fun. We're, we're having a good time. Okay, so that's where I came from. Oh, door. Okay. Oh, I thought maybe there'd be a cutscene. Um, stop futzing with the camera. I don't like it. Good. Excellent. Good. Is this going to pull up? It does not. Okay. Well, left first. Nothing. Right? And then left first. I wonder if I can beat any of those. Surely not, right? Another door. Uh, is this going to be anything? No. Actually, that looks like that just drops off into an abyss. Oh, this angle! You know, just the one is fine. You're giving me a room and all I can do is save? This picture. This one doesn't make my head hurt when I look at it. Oh, that's because this isn't the same one. This is the this is the seal. This is from this is from Silent Hill 1. This is the this the seal of 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 Metatron. But I know this one. It must be. Still has an unusually high I Lisa. Don't open. Getting a pulse, but 
just barely breathing. Why? What is keeping that child alive? What the hell? Was I daydreaming? No, it was more like watching a video in a dark room. But that nurse, I, I know her. Lisa, who was so heavenly toward me in that hellish hospital room. She did get a little weird, though. Okay, so she's remembering Alessa's memories. Which is interesting. What? Oh, no. Oh, no! Uh, oh, there's a mouth on the wall there, too. What does it say? It says something. Do you see this? Something over here. Wa wonderful. Wonderful. Wonderful something else. Oh, and there's, uh, there's, uh, uh, tentacles on the ground there. You just turn in a valve, buddy? Oh, no, and there's a nurse? What the hell? Is there a door? Ah, there's a door. Oh, no. There's a stretcher sort of half shoved into the room. Maybe it was being carried in. Yeah, whatever's on top was being brought in here. Oh, I'm in the hospital again. Oh, no. This is way more intense than... Oh, no. Okay. Um. Okay. Oh, no. This is fine. Oh, no. There's a door here, right? Lock is broken. I can't even tell where the doors are. Oh my god, I can't even tell where the doors are. Is it a door or is it a wall? Only the map now. Oh good. Oh good. I love that. I love that feature. Good. Oh no, what is that? That's a hand. I got handgun bullets. The hand outside the window. Yeah, good. Oh, fuck off. Okay, I'm not, I don't think I'm ready for this. This game has been since since we finished the mall section, it's been pretty palatable for me. Uh, the mall was way too intense, and this feels like we're, we're, we're jumping back into some serious, not okay territory. Okay. What are you? I doubt I need to check this out. I like, <laughs> I like to avoid touching this kind of thing if I can. Uh, looks like there's a piece of meat or something on the ground. Good. Excellent. We love it. We love to see it. Um, the one thing is, and what I will say I kind of love about this, is this sort of blurry effect on the textures. The game itself isn't under a blur filter, but the textures are. I think it kind of plays on her, the idea that her head is hurting and, and that kind of stuff. Like she's not able to focus on, on certain things in Silent Hill, which I think is really, really interesting. I don't like this. What is that in the middle of the room there? Uh, let's go around over here. Oh, no, 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 no. Not like that. Anything? No. Okay. Okay. 
Ooh, should I give him warning about something annoying? They're sniffers! Yeah, I get it. Get up! Okay, we are going to switch to a gun. Because these freaking sniffers are are not good. Get up, get up, get up, get up. Damn it, god damn it. Please, 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 please. Okay, that's what no. Get off, get off, get off, get off, get off. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. good it's fine i used all of my shotgun bullets which i don't feel great about <sighs> okay it's fine it's fine we're good it's okay what is this stun gun battery i haven't used the stun guns at all in this game i don't know if it's valuable if there's Oh no. Oh no. Uh, what is this? The door won't open. Oh shit. Oh no. Uh. Uh. Oh no. Uh. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Uh, what do I do? What do I do? Oh no. Um. Do I have anything in my inventory for this? I feel like I do not. Uh, rip my HP. Uh, what's this the picture? of an ampule. I don't know, man. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Okay. Well, I got out. Waste of an ampule. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm just trying stuff. I'm panicking here. Uh, okay, so there's a door on the right that we haven't tried. I'm going to try that. Uh, and then I guess I didn't technically check the elevator. So I'll try that in a bit. And then... I haven't tried the elevator on this floor either. I'm sure... Hey, this is something, though. Oh, no. There's a dead body hanging from the ceiling. The blood dripping from it has totally filled the bucket set out below. Who would do this and for what? It looks like a full out bloodletting. It sure does. Is there anything for me in here? Can I take the bucket? No. Okay. All right. Sick. Good room. Love that. 
Uh, it's gonna be down here, and it's gonna be to the right. I think this is it. Great. Okay. The quickest way is actually gonna be through the day room. Or at least the safest way. Get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked, get fucked. Yeah, I get it. You're very bad. Oh. oh, good. Oh, good. Three basement levels. Uh, I think I'm on three, so I'm going to go down to two. Oh, this is much better. I mean, I don't like to exist in the world where, where, where this is better, but um, I'll take what I can get. Okay, anything over here? No, this is nothing. Lock is broken. What's over here? Anything? Oh, this goes on for a while. This doesn't look like... Oh, I guess it does. Don't you love it when the building suddenly develops two extra basement levels? Uh, yeah, honestly, that's why... That's just, you know, I, I... I don't have anything to say about it. I'm so flooded with freaking adrenaline right now. This isn't the locker that's ringing. It's probably this one with the blood on it. Let me go ahead and answer the locker. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday, dear. Oh, I forgot your name. Who are you? Oh, okay, thanks. Happy birthday, dear, who are you? Happy birthday to you. Happy 31st birthday! Is this Leonard? That's the murderer's name, not my name. I'm not your beloved Stanley either. He's underground now. His new name is Number Seven. <laughs> but don't worry about that now. It's time to celebrate your birthday. You've got me mistaken for someone else. Today's not my... I'm not mistaken. Today is your 24th birthday. It was 31st and a second I ago. I have a present for you. Which do you prefer? To give pain or to receive it? You can have the one you hate the most. <laughs> Happy birthday to you! But you're wrong. It's not my birthday. Hmm. I actually think those birthday numbers make sense. And the reason is, I think this is 17 years after the events of Silent Hill 1. Yeah, this is 17 years after it. Um, so I thought she was 24 at first because I thought this just was uh, uh, Cheryl and Alessa. Uh, Cheryl was seven at the time of Silent Hill 1. And Alessa was 17. So that's 21 
plus the 14 years that have, have happened since, or 17 years, I guess it is. No, I don't know where, where 31 came from. Oh, no. Uh... Plastic bag, health drink, health drink. There's nothing important in the trash, no use digging around there anymore. What is this that I'm seeing? I do s Oh no! What are you? There's a bloodstained white robe hanging up on the wall. Does it mean anything? What is this? Something strange is cooped up in the locker. I think I'm safe, but I shouldn't get too close. Uh, 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 leave? Can I leave? Can I just leave? Freaking... Okay. I'm gonna try the submachine gun for these guys, because they're really... Wait, wait, wait. Do these guys like beef jerky? Do you like beef jerky, buddy? They don't. They like me. They like ankle jerky. Oh my god. They do! They do! Okay, okay, that's something. What is this? What is this? Oh, boy. I've got a lot of beef jerky. Uh-oh, they just finished it. Okay. Let's take a look at the, the map real quick. Okay, the fishbowl corner office was the stairwell. I hate it. I hate the sounds. Uh, I haven't tried. I haven't tried this door here, so we're gonna go do that, and then I'm gonna run back into the elevator, and we're gonna go down a floor. Gosh, I've got so many beef jerkies. Lock's broken. Great, great. Run away. Run away. Run away. Run away. Uh, oh, nope, elevator's over here. I screwed up. I fucked up. It's okay. We're having a good time. I've got a bag, a plastic bag. The only thing that I can think of so far that would go in that is possibly the blood. Um, because that room didn't seem to have a purpose. We're gonna go away from the sounds. We're just gonna try doors. That's blocked off. Whoa! No, no, no! Oh, fuck! You gotta check for floors, guys. Just a safety alert. Floors are important. Okay, so I've got the plastic bag. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna immediately go up and try to use this on floor three on the blood. I don't know if that's anything, but that would make sense to me. We're also gonna save. I'm gonna try not to panic on floor one and immediately jump into the darkness. That would probably be good. So day room. Good. Okay. Is it here? No. Uh, it's here. Right? Save room is. I don't like that freaking hand. I don't know that there's anything that I can do about it. Okay. put blood in the plastic bag. I've got a plastic bag with blood. Great. So, I'm reminded of um, Silent Hill 1 
where those tentacle monsters really love blood. And I'm not sure... I went the wrong way. This is the long way around. Get juked! So uncomfortable. Floor one. Floor one. This is okay. This is going to try and make me run. Do not run, because there is you've got to be very careful about floors. No. Okay, we're just gonna try every door that we can. This is actually going to be the front of the building up here, which is interesting. Ooh. Okay. Well, this isn't great, but it's it's better than out there. Oh my god. My freaking stomach. Hang on a second. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Oh, shit. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Is there nothing in here? Oh, damn it. I don't want to go back out there. It's awful out there. I have blood. I have blood in a bag. I have a little... little lunch baggie filled with blood for later. Okay. And they're very slow, so I don't need to really worry about them. Hey, I could save. Oh, God, just a yucky, yucky feeling in my tum-tum. Oh, boy. Okay. Ooh! There's a memo here on the chart. Dr. Midkiff, please use extra caution with the patient in room 312. He should still have his religious freedom here in the hospital, but he shouldn't push his faith on others. I'm a victim too. Rumor has it he got here by stabbing someone over a religious dispute. Please be careful. R. Crosby. Uh, P.S. It looks like the rumor is true. According to the head nurse, I do think he's a good person. Otherwise, though, easy to deal with. Interesting. Can I pick this stuff up on the corner here? No? Just the memo? Ampule. There's a handful of dirty syringes on the bed. I'm not about to use them, that's for sure. That's probably a good instinct. The lock is broken. Good. Okay. So 312 is interesting. Because I think on the third floor we did have that guy hanging upside down. The bloodletting guy? Oh, we can't get into 312. 312's on the other side of a chasm. Okay. What's my situation here? I haven't tried the visiting room, but I'm definitely gonna put down some jerky because there's a little floor goblin. Jerky. Man, I can't believe I'm just now discovering how useful that is. What about you, nurse? Do you like jerky? Little day, day snack? Oh my god. I'm boned. Please drop. I think that was the room that I needed. Yes. Okay, great, 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 great. So we're going to go around here. We're going to avoid falling into the pit. Which is right there. Nope. It's... Oh, no, you've got a gun. You've got a gun. Oh, 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Locked. Not broken, though. Means key. Right? Not broken means key. Broken. Broken. And I think this is gonna be... This must be over here where the, um... What the hell? Oh, no. Uh... Does it go around over here? No, this is a whole area that I can't, like, move around in. Interesting. Where am I on the map? I see, I see, I see, I see. Okay. Okay, and there's the drop. There's the drop. Is that everything on this floor? It is. Okay, we're making good progress. I guess now we have to go down to one of the basements. Jesus. Just fire your architect. No. Really? All the way down to... That's fine. That's fine. Oh, no. Number seven he was. There's a memo here. Let's see. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What cruel linnet once he gets. This is him, though. This is number seven. This is uh, Stanley Coleman. Oh, they've all got... Oh. There's a memo here. Let's see. Cock Robin, who hid the key away, is ash in the oven. All right. The place he held is empty now, and the doors remain shut tight. So that implies that there's going to be a key in the oven there. The grass, the thrush love... This is a puzzle. Oh, this is a puzzle. The grass the thrush so loved to eat gave him sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell to destruction and fatal distress. Okay, 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 okay. So I think the goal here is to get the key out of here. Burn the one who knows no death, pure adored by those above, no prayers within, just simple love. And now the pining hunter, the flames longing for his rebirth, a distant breath within the earth. Burn up that heavy body of his, make it wine dancing in the sky, that bottomless gut now a cloud, now a sigh. The sweet blood on his laughing lips now calls him to the gates of hell. There burns evermore that soulless shell. Four bodies return to ashes, thus the doors open, thus the doors opened. So let's see what we got on the memos. Who killed Cock Robin? The sparrow, they said. He wants them all dead. To him, honey sweet is their sobbing. The grass the thrush so loved to eat gave him sweet happiness. He sank ever deeper and finally fell. The thrush so loved to eat. So maybe the glutton is three. And I'm wondering if this isn't the pining hunter, seven. Because he was hunting us. And he was pining for us. He seeks out her soul by his own black ambition, frightening her out of her wits, whispering love songs into her ear. What cruel linnet once he gets. Uh, so we've got three and seven. The black rook is the praying sort who hears the gods in the skies. His whispered petitions go on without end, and glassy and dim are his eyes. The black rook is the praying sort. So maybe this is the one who is deathless. Uh, cock robin who hid the key away and ash the oven all right. The place he held is empty now and the doors remain shut tight. This could be the one who's still alive. Maybe that's what it means by deathless. There's a lot more in here, though. I probably shouldn't immediately be assigning them all stanzas. The lark's child lost all his words and walled himself up all away. Heart and mouth both locked up tight in a cage where none want to stay. The wren with pure heart is yet unrefined, makes us laugh with his feeble lip smacking. 
but still we all know he shall never grow old, and he knows not how much he is lacking. Lips are mentioned here. The kite, hot, crazy, and panting mad, sweet shackles that tease and excite. Death itself would drive him wild, red blood that turns milky white. The dove's hope died, he chose his path, his flapping wings fell still. Drenched in scarlet, here they lay, his cheeks pale white and chill. I don't think that's anything. The owl who forgot the sky resigned his poor earthbound state. Hungry or fool, it didn't matter at all. He ate and he ate and he ate. Okay, so this could be the glutton, too. The glutton here is number two. The pining hunter is number seven. Um, I think this is going to be the laughing one with the blood on his lips. Number nine. And then I think we had the rook here, number eight, was the prayer, the prayer sword. So let's see if we can make sense of this. Uh, pure. Okay, so eight, because here's the the praying, the praying one. Uh, seven, eight, seven, because here's the pining hunter. Uh, heavy bottle body of his. I think this is two. Um, so eight, seven, two. And I don't remember what this one is. Nine? Eight, seven, two, nine? Uh, let's see. Eight, seven, two, nine? No, not eight, seven, two, nine. Okay. So who should we replace? We're just gonna swap out the first one with four, right? No? Okay. Burn the one who knows no death. Pining hunter, bottomless gut, now a cloud. Definitely, definitely number two who ate and ate and ate. The sweet blood on his laughing lips, that soulless shell. Dove's hope died, chose his paths, flapping wings and kite, still, drenched in scarlet, and mad sweet shackles and tease and excite. Life. Death itself would drive him mad, drive him wild. Red blood that turns with pure heart yet unrefined pure heart maybe it, nine could be the one that is deathless Lucky and child. adored so let's let's look at these as birds instead of deeds right the owl is a symbol of peace i don't know what a kite is i know it's another kind of bird the wren blood on the lips are any of these uh birds known for like being for having like a red beak so i want to take one more look at the first stanza the one who knows no death Pure, adored by those above, no prayers within, just simple love. That could be the Wren. So that would be 9027. 9027. Nothing. Okay, let's try 9 and 0. So this is going to be the Wren in the first position. Uh, the linnet in our second position. The owl I am staunchly keeping in this position because I don't understand how it could not be the owl. Damn. Am I wrong about that being the owl? Am I wrong about that being the owl? Are these in reverse order? So, would it be like, our pining guy would be here, and our kite would be here. I don't understand this at all, man. I'm getting real mad. I feel like I'm, I'm circling it, but... Two is not in the right spot, it should be under nine. That means that nine does not associate with the deathless, the prayers, and the adored. It is, it's associated with blood on the laughing lips, or these are in a random order. So I'm gonna switch this to zero, 
because I do think the kite is in here. And I think this is a seven. But it's not. Well, I've definitely put the seven here and flipped through all of these, haven't I? I'm just, I'm trying to think through this. So that was nine, two, seven, one, which was the wren, the owl, the linnet, and the sparrow. So if I assume that it was in reverse order, that makes it one, seven, two, nine. If we consider like the sparrow was the one who murdered, but it doesn't make sense because that was on a body. So implying that that was dead. But that's fine. The Pining Hunter would have been our boy Stanley Coleman. The Owl would have been the Heavy, which that makes sense. And then the Wren would have been Blood on Laughing Lips. Pure heart yet unrefined makes us laugh with this feeble lip smacking. Okay. So the big the big piece of information was that I guess that the combination was in reverse order of the stanzas, which is fun thing to find out. They were in reverse order. Okay. Better better puzzle than better puzzle than the body part keypad puzzle. I will say that because this one this one ha this one made sense. I think afterwards. Cool. Cremated key. So we do have that one locked room. Thank you for that, by the way, Forsaken. I literally could not have done that without you. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and find our locked room. Um, I think it's going to be on floor one. Yes, there it is, into the day room. Uh, so we're going to go back up to floor one, and we are going to unlock a door. Floor one. You had the right logic at the start, just bar one number in order. Yeah. Um. I think it's down at the end of this hallway on the right. I use the cremated key. In this room, there is a nurse patrolling this side, because this is the day room where we only saw half the room like blocked off my fences. Oh, come on. Oh, it's very intense in here. Um, I did see, I see this, which is a little strange. I'm going to go read it. Is it here? The world is teeming with unnecessary people. It's God's decision that I fight as a knight of honor, as a protector of the seal. I sacrifice myself to the blood of criminals. Who wrote this? Some twisted individual, eh? I see this and I want to ask him, so you think you're one of the necessary ones? But it seems like I've heard this protector of the seal business somewhere before. It's possible that that was there before and I just missed it. Okay. Okay. Uh, oh. Happy first birthday now. Uh, we're gonna heal up. We're gonna drop a jerky. It's so loud in my ears. Um, uh, 
Okay, they have, they have, they're so excited about the jerky that I think they're blocking my, Ooh. Oh good, oh good. Okay, that's good. That's good. This is all fine. Um, There's something in the platform. It's too thin to be a person. There's something on the platform. It's too thin to be a person. I don't think I'll go so far as to pull off the sheets and check. Oh, good. Hey, look at that. Anything else in here for me? No. Oh, look at that little drawing. Look at that little guy. Do you see him? He's just a little guy right here. Cute. I love it. Uh, let's see. I'm facing the wrong direction. I think that one has a... Oh no. Yep, get up, get up, get up, get up, please, get up, please. Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Are you not going to... I can't get around them. They're just all right here. Oh my god. And there's another one. This is absolute nonsense. Um, okay, 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 okay. Ridiculous. Okay, and she doesn't aim down. Please stop. I'm gonna switch my weapons to... Aim down, aim down, please. God, oh my god. Lock is broken. Yeah, I get it. I get it. Please. I don't know, man. I feel like I only hear one of them now. Yep. 
yep, 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 yep. I'm putting you down, buddy. I'm done. I'm done messing with you. You make me so mad. Jesus. Good. Good. It seems like it was drawn a long time ago, somehow. Oh, that got my blood boiling. That got my blood, like, I was, I was so, so frustrated. Uh, okay. We got stuff to read. The title is Lost Memories. One characteristic mentioned only in rare documents and dying out in the modern age is that of the ritual sacrifice. Offering prayers, pierce a man's chest with a copper stake, drench the altar in the blood which spouts red from the heart to praise and to show loyalty unto God. And another sacrificial rite mentioned in the same book, the victim is burned alive. This was a more dignified ceremony in which prisoners and sinners were not allowed to participate. Only the clergy could be sacrificed. Similar to burning at the stake, no comparable rite can be found in religions practiced nearby. It may have some connection with the main deity being a sun god. Even though this religion extols redemption, it brings to mind a dark and cultish history. There's a stretcher here. Not just your usual stretcher, this is more like an altar of some sort. Like, lit candles, a knife, and is that blood I smell? Do they worship that picture or something in that picture? Um, I don't want to use the blood here, but... I guess that's what it's asking me to do. Boy, I hate this. Ugh. Wait, now there's a stair? Oh, for sure. Yeah, she's just squirting it. Okay, well, I guess we go down. I don't really know what else to do. feels like it's going to be a boss fight. Heather? Leonard, where are you? Thank you. Now I can finally leave here. Now Claudia's ridiculous dream is over. Oh. Oh no. Is that you? Death to all who turn their backs on God. That's a big fella. 